phrase miracle ride to describe the smooth highway comfort of the airborne B-58 Buick. You're right. In 58, Buick's always fine ride has been so improved, it truly is miraculous. You can sell Buick's ride. You can use it to get prospects to the showroom, to whet their appetite for a demonstration, to get their name on the dotted line, if you know the facts and how to present them. So let's see what's behind the miracle ride of the great new airborne 58 Buick. Buick's rugged frame is the foundation of Buick's ride. Its rigidity, its resistance to twist are definitely superior. The reason for Buick's superiority is the stiff and rugged steel like twisting in all normal driving. And besides that, all members are double riveted and welded to the extra deep and extra heavy side rails. Competition doesn't even compare. Buick's side rails are widely separated, so the body can be nested between the rails for the lower than ever B-58 silhouette without loss of head or leg room. Buick's smart good looks are thus uniquely functional. A high fashion car, easy to enter and leave, and a roomy joy to ride in. And the nesting principle means a lower center of gravity. And that means easier handling, better roadability, all vital parts of Buick's miracle ride. Furthermore, Buick's great X-frame is the solid support for another Buick exclusive, torque cube drive, that also adds to the comfort of Buick's ride. Of course, you must know the reasons for the customer advantages of Buick's torque cube in order to sell torque cube. The tremendous thrust developed by an engine is transmitted as a turning or twisting force along the propeller shaft through the differential to the rear axles. The twisting force turns the rear wheels and moves the car forward. And here is where a basic law of physics takes effect. This twisting force is accompanied by an equal counter force or reaction in the opposite direction. This means that the rear axle housing wants to turn backward. So the engineer's problem is to absorb this very powerful but unwanted force. Practically all competitive cars do it with leaf springs in the rear. The leaf springs are essentially short levers fastened to the rear axle housing so it can't turn backward. This is the so-called Hotchkiss drive and it has a number of basic drawbacks. Obviously, the basic function of a car's springs is to cushion the ride. If, in addition, the springs must also prevent axle twist, they have two jobs to do at once so they can't do either best. Part-time springing can only mean part-time riding comfort. In the Hotchkiss drive, the springs must be stiff and heavy to absorb reaction forces, too stiff for comfort. Even when the springs are too stiff for full comfort, drive thrust still twists the back end on a fast takeoff. That forces the rear of the car down and causes a leapfrog start. And also, leaf springs transmit road noise and vibration through the frame to the passenger compartment. Now consider Buick's torque tube drive. The torque tube is a hollow steel tube surrounding the propeller shaft, solidly coupled to transmission and rear axle. Along with the strut rods, it absorbs all the driving thrust, completely independent of the car's springs. That's because the torque tube is a lever too. It's far longer than a leaf spring, and a longer lever arm takes less force, so it can do a far better job of absorbing thrust, as well as noise and vibration. So Buick springs can be full-time springs, because they have nothing to do but cushion the ride. Full-time springing means full-time comfort. Coil springs all around. Coil springs are the best there are for ride. That's not all. Buick's rear end geometry means greater stability, greater comfort on curves. And the reason is very simple. The forces that move a Hotchkiss drive car forward are divided and applied at the rear of the car. You can demonstrate this to your prospects by pushing a pad across a table like this. The pad will wobble as you push it along a curved path. But in Buick, the driving forces are concentrated at the forward end of the torque tube near the car's center of gravity. 
That means stability, comfort on curves. And you can prove that to your prospects by pushing the pad with one finger near the center of the pad like this. Let your prospect try it. Now when it comes to air ride, Buick's torque tube drive is all set for air suspension. Other cars will have to convert to some system of levers in order to use air suspension. Not Buick. Keep that in mind, because torque tube drive is a Buick perfected feature that Buick has been building and testing for years. Torque tube drive is time proved in millions of Buicks. So now let's see how this great new across the board option, air poise suspension, still further improves Buick's great ride. Any steel automobile spring coil, leaf, or torsion bar has this major drawback. It cannot change its degree of firmness once it has been set by the suspension engineer. If the engineer designs a firm spring, his automobile will have a good ride on bad roads and a bad ride on good roads. A soft spring, of course, bounces you around on the bumps and ruts of a bad road, but gives a good ride on good roads. So no matter what, the best steel spring is a compromise. Furthermore, a steel spring can't compensate for load. An empty car rides high, a loaded car rides low. If the load is unbalanced or the car is taking a curve, the car also leans. The ideal is a suspension that can change its degree of firmness as road conditions change. A spring that will keep the car level and at the same height regardless of the weight of the load and its distribution. And a spring that won't transmit noise and road shock. Sounds like a miracle. Well, Buick has accomplished the miracle with a miraculous new air poise suspension that floats the car on four cushions of air. Buick's miracle ride with air poise suspension. The ride that provides three great sales advantages. Variable rate springing, automatic leveling, and operation bootstrap. Heart of the system is the compressor, belt driven by the engine, that keeps the storage tank full of compressed air at a hundred pound pressure. The air is piped from the tank to the four air chambers that replace the four steel springs. The bottom end of a metal plunger or piston is attached to the axle. On its top end rests the diaphragm of the air chamber attached to the frame. When the wheel strikes a bump, the plunger moves up, forcing the diaphragm into the air chamber where the compressed air in the chamber smothers the road shock. Consequently, Buick passengers literally ride on air. On smooth roads, the ride is soft, 40% softer than even Buick's all-coil springs. And when the road is rough and the wheels want to bounce, the shape of the plunger and the air chamber automatically increases the degree of firmness of the suspension. The rougher the road, the greater the degree of resistance to wheel bounce and therefore body bounce. The smoother the road, the less the resistance. So there's a constant cushion of air with just the right degree of resistance to wheel bounce at every instant. This constant cushion of air is responsible for variable rate springing the first of the three big sales advantages of air poise suspension. The second big feature of Buick's air poise suspension is automatic leveling. A system of leveling valves keeps the car at the same height, regardless of the number of people or load in it. When passengers enter or leave the car, additional air automatically enters or leaves the air chambers to return the car to its correct height. The system also corrects for unbalanced loads by adjusting each individual chamber as necessary to keep the car level from side to side as well as from front to rear. Operation Bootstrap is the third big feature of Buick's air poise suspension. When the driver pulls this lever, another miracle happens. The system's normal control valves are locked out and air is sent direct to all four air chambers. So the car frame rises nearly five inches, practically lifting itself by its bootstraps. And how handy that is for changing tires or getting out of mud or sand. 
Of course, the way to sell Buick's air poise suspension is to demonstrate. Begin your demonstration by putting your weight on the rear bumper. Show your prospect how the car momentarily sinks, then returns to its proper level despite your weight. Then on the road, give the car a real workout. Prove how ruts, potholes, and bumps are smoothed out miraculously. And how turning, twisting roads are a breeze with the road-hugging, sure-footed, new airborne Buick. Remember to talk up safety power steering, too, since air suspension can be ordered only with the power steering option. Buick's great miracle ride comes from Buick's great engineering features. Know the facts about them. Buick's exclusive X-frame construction for greater strength, greater rigidity, and greater stability. Buick's exclusive torque tube drive that drives the car from its center of gravity for road-hugging stability and comfort in every driving situation. Buick's exclusive all-coil springs, whose sole job is to provide comfort on any kind of road. And Buick's air poise suspension, on the only chassis in the industry already best adapted for the supreme comfort of riding on air. Know these facts, then present the facts convincingly on the showroom floor and demonstrate the results on the road to sell Buick's Miracle Ride and Air Poise Suspension.